This video demonstrates how to send an email from the HTML form using either JSP or Java Servlet. So whatever the things that I am going to discuss, I will show you with a very small diagram. So there will be many situations in while developing an application to send email during the registration form, after registration, the username or password, some kind of intimation has to be sent to the mail. So it's very obvious if you have any general purpose application, there will be a registration form in that registration form as soon as user fills the data including the email address email uh, user will be receiving a mail being an application developer we should know how to send email from html in background there will be a java jsp jsp or a solid program which will be sending the message to the email address provided by the user so in this video what we are going to do is very simple uh, we have a small html form where we will be writing the email to the person whom we are going to send and a text message will be typing some message in it and a submit button as soon as we press the submit button these two parameters will be sent to either jsp or servlet so in my example i am going to use jsp this jsp will get these two parameters using get parameter method so here in application server that means tomcat i am going to use up apache tomcat uh, application server this jsp will use java mail api any standard edition of java will not have java mail api so we need to explicitly download java mail how do we get a java mail is very simple we just by including java x dot mail dot jar file and activation.jar file these two jar files in tomcat library your jsp can interact with uh, will include all those packages and functions that are required for java mail api very simple two jar files I, anyhow i'll show you those those two jar files tomcat uh, library uh, you have to remember these two jar files java x dot mail dot jar file and uh, activation dot jar file if any one of these two jar files are missing then probably you will not uh, able to send mail in jsp page we are going to set the following parameters from address authentication so the sender's username password username and password both are important and uh, two address the two address anyhow we got from html form we are going to use gmail smtp server imagining that uh, we are we are using uh, sender's address at the rate of gmail.com let's use gmail smtp so what we are going to do is very simple without logging into our account through our application we are going to send some mails to the people to some two addresses so we need an automatic service uh, inbuilt that automatic service is nothing but gmail smtp smtp stands for a simple mail transport uh, protocol it acts like a host we'll use some port number the default port number is 587 uh, through which we can connect to gmail smtp so gmail smtp will collect all the informations provided by jsp page like to address from address user authentications like a tour uh, from address user authentications for an example if i am sending any email to some person then i should log on to my account first of all so i should send my username as well as password uh, there is one important point uh, any low level application any low level application which is trying to log logging into the email uh, your gmail or any other email servers will protect them to not sign into the account because uh, there is there are some privacy issues that's why make sure from the email account from which you are going to send the email go to the settings and turn off uh, that uh, privacy kind of thing it's very simple log into your account from which you are going to send uh, the emails to other people using an application we are going to use small application here in case if you wanted to successfully see the execution means so uh, you have to disable the privacy because uh, this application wants to interact with your account and and then from your account uh, some mails will be sent to other people so that's why we need to turn off the privacy as soon as you logged in go to your account there you can very easily find out uh, go to the privacy section where you can very easily turn off that kind of uh, thing which allows us to send mail from the application okay but uh, make sure uh, you do not use your original email account okay for your application purpose you can create one sample gmail account uh, turn off the privacy and test it so it doesn't matter because uh, in this application we are providing username and password this can these two can be very easily hacked by any other hack so maintain one duplicate account and as soon as we uh, as soon as the authentication is successful then uh, your gmail smtp will will sign into your account your, i mean it will enable your application to sign into your account this is our email account from which uh, we are going to send the emails uh, through which uh, what to whatever the email address we have provided here to that particular receiver uh, will get that email so from address email should be a gmail account and to address can be anything okay it can be anything so you should have a 
some some sample gmail account to do this experiment so this is what we are going to do now before i get into the program uh, i'll show you java x.mail.jar file and activation.jar file and where you have to keep those two jar files and how to set class for in my home directory apache tomcat is available in apache tomcat in library i already had these two files java x.mail.jar and uh, activation.jar okay these two are important uh, if you do not have these two then you cannot have java mail api in your program so all the methods and classes that we are going to use uh, cannot be executed because they cannot find unless you add these two jar files in your apache tomcat library it should be in lib folder only now we'll see our html form this is a form where we are going to type the to address to whom to whomever we are going to send some message that particular person's uh, email address and uh, some message and as soon as i submit that email should go so as soon as i submit it uh, redirects the request will be i have written an action to that particular form that uh, form goes to this jsp page i already told you that i am going to use jsp this is email test.jsp okay i'll just will have some look on this program here we are going to use this uh, packages in jsp java x.mail and java x.mail.internet these two packages are from that jar file whatever we have seen that jar file java x dot uh, mail dot jar file and activation dot jar file these two jar files are important because uh, whatever the methods that we are going to use here are basically from these two packages so very simple we are uh, setting uh, the from address username and password and here you can see that uh, the username uh, the from address i have created one uh, account uh, to test this uh, demonstration uh, username and password uh, using these credentials i will be logging logging into the account and i'll send some messages to the user so here i did not write uh, the password of this account uh, because this application is already hosted in my Ap apache tomcat but you have to write it written some characters uh, in order to protect my password you should not do like this you have to write uh, the password in text in text format so the host is smtp.gmail.com this is a place where we are uh, our request will be redirected smtp.gmail so gmail's smtp will collect all the information provided by us username password and uh, authentication after successful authentication this message i mean now uh, here i'm using this one of, of course i'm getting this message from the text box uh, so using request dot get parameter i'll uh, say what are the message that i wanted to send to the user finally with this method transport dot send this message whatever the message that we wanted to send uh, finally we'll execute this method by sending a parameter called as message this message was already set here okay it's a very simple program you can write this program using a simple java program in console also you can try to see the execution and in case if you wanted to send uh, in the http format then uh, you should write a jsp like this or you should write is java select program make sure one thing once after once after downloading these two jar files you should keep it in library lib this activation and java h.mail.jar file to which you have to set the class path in my case uh, the class path is already available it is already set sudo g edit i'll show you the environment in case of uh, windows my computer right click properties environment variables where you have to set the class path in case of ubuntu or linux mint you should edit this environment uh, file so i have to set the class path okay here is the place where i have already set the class path you can see here java x dot mail jar file and activation dot jar file is already available in case if it is not set in class path even though you have copied and if you if you are unable to set class path then probably you will your computer will not find those uh, jar okay make sure after copying them in library folder in tomcat's library folder you should set class path right now let's see the execution my tomcat is already running it is already running so as soon as i provide two address two address i wanted to send some message to this particular email address this is mine this is my original id okay but this application will use the cbit files at the rate of gmail.com as from address okay that we have already written in jsp page i this is test message okay as soon as i press submit button then uh, this thing should be submitted to the two address so i'll just show you i have already deployed this application in web, web apps so in this email test folder the folder in which i have shown you the jsp it is already 
deployed. As soon as I press submit button to this particular email address, this message will be sent. And afterwards, we'll log into the second and I'll show you that uh, this is test message that particular email has received or not. I'll show you. Actually, it is redirected to JSP page from which G Gmail SMTP has collected our parameters and sent the mail successfully to the person B Satish CSA at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, right. Message sent successfully. This is the last statement that I have used in JSP so as to uh, make sure that our program has successfully executed. Now I'll open my account and see whether this is my account. I'm trying to log into my account. I'll see. You see here we have successfully done this one. CVITFS is the from address place where we have sent this mail. So I got this mail. Subject in the program I have written it as a test subject. This is a text message. So this is how you can send mails from the applications, not only to a single person, to multiple friends we can send messages. I hope this video helps you in case you are developing any such application. If you like my videos and if you want me to continue on YouTube channel, then please subscribe and switch on the notification bell.